One of our customers was recently reviewing a lecture by an integrative oncologist discussing the benefits of high-dose melatonin on cancer cells. He was citing literature that was showing improvements in several types of cancer with a dose of 180 milligrams daily. Will you please comment on this? Um, yes. Um, not only am I going to comment briefly, but uh, I'm going to send out through the email some additional um, commentary. Um, melatonin is a very powerful molecule. It's derived from the amino acid tryptophan. So tryptophan, if you have enough cofactors, goes to serotonin, and serotonin goes to melatonin. And the body makes and uses the melatonin very quickly because it's such a powerful antioxidant molecule that physiologically, physiologically, the body never floods itself with melatonin. And so when we first start with the premise that we're going to give 180 milligrams, where melatonin is usually micrograms, 180 milligrams of melatonin is a pharmaceutical dose. Um, I could not find studies uh, that were other than tissue culture. So in the laboratory, <clears throat> if you use very high doses of melatonin, you see certain effects because it is a powerful antioxidant. Um, I have heard over the years, many um, exuberant commentaries about a therapy that I didn't know about. So when we talk about cancer, I have to learn from others, like the Society for Integrative Oncology. And the leadership there <clears throat> is clear that high-dose melatonin is an experiment about which we have very little data. And while the conversation seems very promising, when you actually look for human data or clinical trial data, there are several failures. <clears throat> now, it's not unusual for a potential medication, a potential prescriptive uh, pharmaceutical, uh, to have several trials that don't work out very well as they figure out what the right dose is, what the right timing is, what the, are there any other cofactors needed. Um, so I'm interested if anyone has any actual data. I'm happy to talk to any colleague who is actually doing such studies. But the impression I have is that the blush is off the rose of melatonin in regard to anti-cancer because if it was really highly promising, I believe somewhere in the world, you would be doing clinical studies to document the benefit because then the market share, the, 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 the monetization begins. Um, I didn't look very hard, but I could not find them. It's usually easy for me to find them if they're, certainly if they're done in North America, it's easy to find. If they're done in Europe, it's relatively easy to find. In Asia, it may or may not be easy to find. Um, but my bottom line, my summary to the question is, um, keep listening, keep reporting on anything that seems promising, but there have been many promising therapies that were talked about for a brief period of time and people were enthusiastic about them until they had more experience. And then they found that physiology before pharmacology is a, a wise approach. And uh, while there are pharmaceuticals that are really quite remarkable and some of them safer, the more we learn about more of them, very often the collateral effects take the blush off the rose, if you will. So I remember when tranquilizers had no side effects and you could give them out to almost anyone. And a few years before that, amphetamines in medicine were a rage. And yes, people lost weight, but we stopped doing that. At least I hope we have stopped doing that. Um, so melatonin uh, is one of many interesting molecules. We can help 
people understand the physiology and how to get melatonin where it's needed, when it's needed, and in ways that are healthy, health promoting. For example, the pineal gland actually produces melatonin, but it produces melatonin at the same time that the pituitary is producing growth hormone while you are sleeping. So at the end of the first two or three, uh, what are called REM sleep cycles, you know, imagine the sleep cycle is about 90 minutes. There's a five minute window within that 90 minutes when your pituitary releases a number of hormones, including growth hormone, and your pineal makes melatonin and uses it. In, certainly within minutes, maybe even measurably in seconds, because it is needed when it's needed, it does its job, and it gets metabolized and excreted. Um, so I think you hear a general skepticism on my part about something that is new, but we don't know much about, and a double skepticism when you take a natural molecule like melatonin and you use it in a pharmaceutical 